What's up guys and welcome to a beautiful morning here in Chiang Mai, Thailand. Today we are taking the bus to Chiang Rai, which is in the north of Thailand, even further north than Chiang Mai. It's gonna be about a three, three and a half hour bus ride and we've booked our tickets online through a company called Green Bus and it was about $23 total for both of us, including taxes and fees. There are three ways that you can get to Chiang Rai from Chiang Mai. You can rent a car, which is pretty expensive. I think the whole time we were gonna be there, it was like 200 bucks, not worth it for us. You can also rent a private taxi, which also tends to be a little bit more expensive I don't remember the price that we were quoted, but you can get various prices But we decided to go to the bus because that is obviously the cheapest option It was like 23 bucks or something like that. Whatever Trey said There's not a whole lot of like public transportation here in Chiang Mai So we are taking a grab to get there grab is essentially uber and it's it's pretty affordable It's gonna be 96 baht to take us from here to the Chiang Mai bus terminal 3 All right, now we gotta find the platform that we're going to I think it's that way okay. Maybe we might have walked past it all right, so we found our bus. Uh, we have about 20 minutes until we leave, but I don't know what time we start loading up. Also, there are bathrooms here, but don't expect anything luxurious. I'm just gonna tell you that right now. We good? Yep. Okay. Not bad. No. There are multiple different options that you can choose for a green bus. You can choose the X bus, I think. It's a little less spacious. It's also gonna be cheaper, but this one is the, the V bus. All the buses come with like a water and like a little snack. But what makes this one different is it's got two seats and then one row. Hannah and I booked on the one side, so she's sitting behind me. Hindsight being 2020, I think I probably would have booked those seats together. According to online, this bus runs really cold because they have to keep the condensation to a minimum. We have lots of layers just in case. There is so much space in these seats. They recline, so that's 10 out of 10. The only thing that Flixbus might have on them is that they have plugs because there are no plugs on here. That's okay though. This bus ride is going to be like three and a half hours, maybe three hours and 45 minutes. So we'll time it from the moment that we take off here at 10.45. Now's the part where we get off the bus and I'm assuming that we get asked if we want a taxi by everybody the moment we step out of the door. Oh, no, thank you. No, thank you. Only one. Only one. Oh, no, thank you. Okay, so we have checked into our Airbnb. It was only about a seven minute walk from the bus station. So to recap, we took a bus from Chiang Mai to Chiang Rai, and it took about three hours and 12 minutes, but we made it here in one piece, and that's really all we can ask for. So we'll see you in a few days when we're exploring more of Chiang Rai. 